Hello, this is Bloodstorm, and welcome to another Minecraft video inside of my fantastic world. Good mo- oh, Jesus, Soda. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to be right up close to my face. Anyway, Soda, how are you doing today? Are you doing good? Jolly good. Right, uh, today it is just me and Zoda in this, I say bright and early, this very early morning inside of Fantastic World, which will soon be bright. Yeah, there's no clouds. I don't know why. The clouds have just disappeared. Uh, right, let's go over to the kitchen. We can go and grab our breakfast. What is Zoda having today? Beetroot. Nice. Yeah, nice. I have... Oh. Karma, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've got beetroot. You get beetroot. Right. Uh, let's head over to uh, the doggy house. And we can go and collect a dog to come and join us in this episode today. And uh, yeah, uh, we are building a brand new mini game. Hello, llama. Uh, excuse me, trader. I think you've left your llama behind. Uh, what have you got to sell today? Uh, nothing interesting. I haven't used the coral blocks before. And I want to use them for something in the future. I don't know what, but I want to use them at some point. So who knows when I'll use them. Uh, right, uh, oh yeah, before we go to the doggy house, let's go see what OG build we will be building next, or what the fantastic OG Incorporated will be building next. So yeah, if you don't know what this is, uh, basically it's a building where people put suggestions down for what things from the old Fantastic World should be brought over to this new Fantastic World. And uh, today is Snowfall. So there we go, that is a new mini game that will be... Added to um, uh, the Fantastic Fair at some point. I don't know when, but at some point. Right, now we can go and collect a dog to come and join us. And it's been a while since I've had a dog join us, so... Hmm. Oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Who haven't I had in a while? Um... Dizzy? Right, where are you, Dizzy? Dizzy, you can stand up and you can join us today. And uh, let's head over to the, the shout-out garden, where we, for the first time in a while, we're actually going to be adding someone. And as of recently, there's been a glitch with the shout-out garden. Every time I add someone's name into the book, the book keeps resetting itself. And uh, it happened twice today. I had to go back to an old copy of my world, and I had to rewrite everyone's name in the book twice. And uh, that was really annoying. But uh, yeah, the person we're adding today is... Oh, how do I pronounce this? Jeffro May Marina 0905 And that is because they left this very nice comment on one of my uh, previous episodes um, about a couple of weeks ago. And uh, yeah, I thought this was a very nice comment. Uh, I don't usually add people to the shout-out garden, so it's, it's great that I'm adding people to the shout-out garden for nice things that they do. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you uh, for the comment, Jeffro, and welcome to the shout-out garden. Right, Zoda. You've blocked me in. Oh, no, what am I going to do? It's not like I can break blocks to get through. Oh, you broke it for me. Thank you, Zoda. Right. Uh, oh, was there something I had to show you? I don't think there was, no. Right, uh, actually, was there something I needed to show you? I don't know. I don't think there was. Right. Uh, let's head over to where we are building. Oh, there is actually something I need to show you. And this is what I've been working on for a... A while. It's been a... It's been, I've been working on this thing for a while. Um, so, the minigame we are building is all the way over at the back. Once again, at the back. Um, yeah. Uh, this is what I've been working on. I've added trees. I don't think I showed this last time. But I've added trees around my world. Just to make it look a bit... I don't know, better. Like, just so there's not loads of open spaces. It's just so it looks like, what, well, better. <laughs> That's what I mean to say. So, yeah, the mini game we are building is not over here, actually. It is at the back, but it's not over here. And I'll show you why in a moment. But first, let me show you uh, a mini game which has been built from the old Fantastic World. Uh, this is Door Drop. Uh, and, yeah, basically, it's a trapdoor spleef game. Two people will be at the top and you flat down the trap doors. And uh, yeah, that's basically uh, the idea of uh, this minigame. So this is an old minigame brought over from the old Fantastic World. I like it. I like that game. 
So yeah, we've got Copper Collection, which was the first. We've got Door Drop, and then eventually Snowfall, which will be somewhere. Uh, right, let's uh, start building. So we're building all the way... Moment of silence. All the way over... Here. All the way over here. So yeah, I've leveled out this entire area, and like, I kid you not, this took ages for me to do uh oh there's a penguin behind us hello penguin goodbye penguin um yeah i kid you not this took ages to do so um yeah i'm i'm glad it's all done at all zoda over there be very careful you might want to be careful of the the that person or will they attack i don't think they'd attack us okay i think they're i think they're peaceful but oh oh they gave me a carrot. Here you go, Zoda. Here's a, a nice potato for you. Right. Let's get building. So... Oh, I forgot to pull the screenshots up. Let me quickly... Let me quickly find my screenshots. So, this minigame is going to be called Boris Bees. And um, the reason why it's called Boris Bees is because I didn't have a better name for it. And uh, actually, I don't think I called it Boris Bees. I think someone else named it for me. Um, but yeah. Uh, I didn't have a good name for it, and someone suggested that name, and I, yeah, I just thought it was a good idea. Right, let me get uh, these screenshots up, so I need this one right here. I haven't got my blooming blocks on me. Let me go over to this chest, and I'm going to go and grab um, just a bunch of yellow and a bunch of black, like that. There we go. And uh, right, let's get started. So Zoda's doing a fantastic job. I haven't even started building yet. Uh, right, we need to go one, two, and one, two, like this. Along the side of it, we need to go um, an extra four. So we've got one, two, three, four. So it goes five down, like this. And then we have a pillar going up like that. Uh, and then, very simple, this part is just going to go two away from the edge. And then we're going to bring this all the way to the end over here like that oh yeah around my world i've been seeing a bunch of holes broken in the floor i don't know what that's about but some holes have been broken in the floor i don't know if it's a mob but um yeah some holes have been broken and i don't know why but oh well um right let's see the next screenshot then that is an application i filled out oops right so oh yeah if you start digging out the floor i'm gonna quickly just Add in uh, just these things very quickly. Uh, oh, yeah. I've got a, a never right shovel. So, I don't know if this will be easier. Uh, for, oh, right. Dizzy, I'm going to sit you down up there. Um, I said I said I don't know if it's going to be easier for Zoda. Because I was literally about to give him the shovel. But I might as well help Zoda out and dig it. So, it's just not him digging out the floor. So, yeah. Let's dig out this entire floor with this. Yeah, I've upgraded my shovel. I don't know if this was like I showed you the shovel the last episode but um yeah i upgraded the shovel because i knew at some point i would be digging out this entire area and uh i had a couple diamond shovels when i was digging out this area uh leveling it out and uh <laughs> could you not that was a very long time digging it all out but it was worth it because it means we can expand the fantastic fair and include more mini games and og mini games as well in the fantastic fair Right, let's dig all of these away over here. And yep, there we go. And uh, right, let's get started. So in this entire room, this is going to be yellow concrete, like that. Before I do the floor, actually, I'm going to quickly add in the glass. So it's going to go along like that. Um, yep, there's glass here as well, like so. And then this needs to go up one. We'll break that away. And uh, it's going to be filled in at the top like that. There we go. Uh, oh, that's not... Okay, it's just a bit of lag then. It wasn't showing and I got a bit worried then. Uh, right. Uh, what do I need to do now? Uh, okay, yeah. I've done that room. Let's start filling in the glass. So the glass is very, very simple. All it is. It's just going around the entire edge. So I'll start doing this. Uh, I don't know where the middle is. 
And uh, we do need to split this game in half um, for each of the teams. Uh, oh, I haven't explained the minigame. So, okay, let's actually get started with explaining the minigame. So, the idea of this minigame is that there's going to be two people on each side with a B. And uh, the idea is that there's going to be these platforms that the player can't reach. They need to lure the bee over the platforms, like a pressure plate, for them to then activate. Uh, uh, what is it? The, yeah, the the pressure plate. So it activates a light, and uh, whoever lights up all the lights first needs to run over to a lever, which is uh, in the middle on the wall. And uh, whoever does that, um, yeah, whoever does that wins. Um, whoever flicks it first wins. Right. I think the the easiest way we can go about this is um, we start doing the floor. So uh, let's see. It goes. It's hard to tell with concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This can be brought all the way over here. Um, Oh, it's, oh, I've just realised I've got to do more digging. This needs to be levelled out. No, dug out under here as well for redstone. I'll do that outside of episode. Well, obviously I will. Right. And then we need to go another... One, two, three, four, five... Oh, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Bring this over to the middle. And then, yeah, all of these are going to mark out where each of these platforms are going to go. Um, oh, yeah, that is in the wrong spot. I'm getting a phone call as of recording. I can't answer that at the moment. Uh, that is annoying. Um, right. So this needs to go yellow along here. Uh, there's going to be... Uh, I mean, you're not going to see the yellow in the middle under here. But for for the sake of it, we are. So we'll add some yellow uh, just under there. And then we'll bring this all the way along here. And uh, this is where another wall is going to be. So, um, right, let me see, okay, so this is in the middle, so it's going to be a lamp right here, and it's going to be another one just there, the one on the left is the one to pull that you've won uh, for both sides, so one here, and then, so, this is going to say winner. And then this one. Yeah, see, there's this weird glitch with the text. I don't know why it keeps doing that. This one's going to say loser. Um, and quickly hop back through this side. So which one's this? This is loser. Please do the glitch. Okay, there we go. That worked. And there we go. This one says... A uh, winner. There we go. So let's say I pull this uh, like that. The one over here, which says loser, is going to show that you've lost. Um, but yeah, that's basically what this middle part's going to be. And uh, let's quickly go over here, help Zoda out with um, with these. And uh, yeah, we can. Oh, do I have wood? Yeah, I do have wood in my inventory. Uh, let me make a crafting table very quickly. So, like so. We can place a crafting table here. I need two doors. Zoda, can you do the honours of um, placing these doors on both sides? Um, just very quickly. And then whilst we do that, I am going to... I'm going to do the, the annoying job of getting the bees in their, their rooms. So, uh, wish me luck, Zoda. Uh, I'm going to need it. So, we'll do one in the corner there. And then on the other side, oh, I can't do that. So it'll be to the left of the door. I need to run all the way over here. I'll stand uh, Dizzy up as well, uh, just so she's not lonely. Uh, to the left of the door. Dizzy, you can stand up. Uh, oh, there's loads of mobs in here. Uh, Zoda, if we quickly head the bed all the way over here uh, at a meltdown, uh, what we can do, we can quickly sleep, get rid of the mobs which are inside of the game, so they don't blow up uh, any of the progress we've done. And then, uh, yeah, we should hopefully be able to get these bees in the, the minigame. 
Uh, so yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, that creeper won't burn, will it? Right, let's shoot over. Shoot the creeper. Oh, don't hit me. Ah, oh, I'm scared. Okay. Thank you, Zoda. Thank you for taking out the creeper for me. Thank you. Right. Now let's get let's get the Boris bees in. So oh, I've got one. Oh, actually, we'll put that one there. Oh, where's the other? The other one's over here. Come back, bee. No running away. So right, we'll put one bee on the lead for now. We'll keep the other one on that little pole there. Um, I'm just thinking, how am I gonna get these bees in? Go on, fly over. Oh yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Fly over, bee. Right, we'll close this door. And uh, there we go. We've got one bee captured. Right, we need to make sure all these doors are closed at all times so they don't fly off. Right, come on, other Boris. We've got Boris 1 and Boris 2. Right, let's lead all of these bees over. Well, I say all of them. <laughs> let's lead the last bee over. And then, yeah, we can end the episode off here. So, um, yeah, uh, this is basically the minigame. In the next episode, we'll be... Uh, doing some of the redstone. I say some will be doing all of the redstone. Hopefully it's not too bad. It's mainly like the the mechanism where all of the lights stay on and then you need to reset it. It's not going to take too long, hopefully. I say hopefully. I'm probably going to struggle with it. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!